Hi, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a movie in iMovie using videos this time. So we are going to make a new project. So you're going to go File, New Project. I'm going to pick No Theme and Create. And so here's my new project. So I'm going to start out by recording a video of myself. So I'm going to go and click on this little camera icon right here which will open up uh, so I can see myself. Um, so this will preview what I am doing. Hi. So I'm going to click Capture. If it's not already selected, you might need to go down here and click on the built-in eyesight. But since it is already built in and it's good to go, and I can see myself, that means it's working. So I'm going to hit Capture. And I'm going to put it in a new event which I'm going to title iMovie 2 um, and I'm going to capture it. So as soon as it is recording so I'm going to say hello to myself um, and you know if you wanted to record stuff around you you can you know move your computer and stuff. It's usually pretty fast. It might go a little slower because I have to record my screen at the same time but um, you can see this is it recording itself. So I'm going to hit stop when I'm done. And then I'm going to have to give it a second to prepare the thumbnails. That usually doesn't take very long. Now let's say I want another video. I'm gonna capture again. Now it knows it. I can create a new event or use the same event. I'm going to use the same event. Hit capture. So it's myself again. Hi. And that's all I wanted. So I'm going to hit stop. Give it a second for the thumbnails. Okay, now I'm done, so I'm going to click done. And down here in my events, it says iMovie 2, and I can see the clips of myself. So I can just roll my cursor over them to see it playing up here in the screen. So let's say I want to use this video, and I want to put it in my project. So I'm going to click and drag and highlight what parts of it that I want. So I don't want the end when I'm saying hi to myself but then I'm saying I'm going to stop. So I'm going to only go that far. I'm going to click and I'm going to drag it up here. So let's say I wanted to just watch that. I would press the space bar button wherever I wanted to watch it from. So let's see if I got the end. So I'm pretty happy with this recording. So now I'm going to pick a title. So I'm going to click on this little text logo. And then I'm going to drag whichever one I want. I'm going to pick it and drag it until there's a green bar at the beginning. I'm going to drop it there. I'm going to pick curtain as my background. So I'm going to click it and then go and change the text. So highlighting the big text, I'm going to put iMovie and subtitle text by Emily. So I want to make it maybe a little bigger. I'm going to click show fonts and I'm just going to scroll over whichever ones until I find the right one. I want to use 9. I want to make it nice and big and pretty. You can pick the color here. Let's pick black, 9, and then you can also change fonts. I'm going to leave it as it is today. Okay, so that's done, so I'm going to click done, and then I can see what it will look like. So, now I want to add more of this video over here, down here. So I'm going to get just where I am waving. So I'm going to drag it, and drop it right here. Um, let's say I wanted to put a transition in right here, I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to go until I find a transition that I like. So I can just put my mouse over one and it will preview the transition. Let's use mosaic, it's always interesting. So I'm going to change the length of this. So it is a little bit longer. So it says 1.5, this time I'm going to make it 2. So 2.0 seconds. Done. Okay, so I have this. And I have, you know, little videos of myself. Let's say I wanted to add some music. So to do that, you'd click on the little music logo. And you could pick stuff from either your iTunes or from GarageBand. So let's say I wanted to pick a GarageBand demo song. Um, I'm just going to click whatever I want to use. And I'm going to drag. I can drag to either the entire thing or just to play with a clip. And it's usually very smart. It can hear when you're talking and it will bring down the volume of the music, especially if you drop it all the way over here. If I drop it here, it will play with the entire video. 
but if I only drop it for one clip, it will only play the duration of that one clip. So I can also grab text and put it over a video. So let's say if I put it here, it would only get the end. If I put it on here, it would be the entire length of the clip. So I'm going to put it here because it's the end of my video. I'm going to say goodbye. Now let's say I wanted to add a nice little ending saying that was my video. Then I could pick a, another one, make sure it's at the end of the green line. Then I can pick whatever background I want. It can be a solid color, it can be anything up here, or it can be an image if you want to drag in an image. So let's use this and say that was my video. And you can see what that looks like by pressing spot, space bar and you can hear it. So there we have a short little video. Let's say though I wanted to go back and make a little addition somewhere and I wanted to, like if it were a video saying where I was from, um, you can go and click this little globe and you can see a map, you can see backgrounds, or you can do a 3D globe, which is pretty cool. So grab whichever one you want to use, um, put it wherever you would like to put it. You can also put it in between things, drop it there. And you will have a menu that will pop up saying start location and location. So let's say I had moved from London. So I'm going to put London and it will find it. So let's just say it was the London Eye. And then I can change it to just London to display on the map. So OK. And then end location, we can put San Francisco and then we can just have it display San Francisco and hit OK. And the duration you can change, let's see how that looks. So I'm going to go to the beginning over here and I'm going to press space and watch what it looks like. Oh, I liked how that was, so now I'm going to watch it. So I'm going to click on the play button inside the little box and watch my video and see how I like it. So I couldn't really hear myself, so now I want to change it. So I'm going to click on this little gear icon. I'm going to click audio adjustments. And the volume was okay, but I couldn't really hear myself. So I'm going to make sure these are on automatic. And I'm going to change it so that it fades in and out enough so that it can hear me. Usually iMovie is pretty good about figuring it out itself. Say you made a ton of adjustments and you didn't like it anymore, you can revert it to original or you can normalize the clip volume to make other more advanced changes. And when I'm done, I'm going to click done. So I'm pretty happy with the way that it sounds. So I'm going to say that this video is done. So now I'm going to export it. So I'm going to click share and export movie. If I export movie, I can pick which format it is. If I exit using QuickTime, it will export it to a regular QuickTime file. I'm going to quit or click export movie so I can choose where what size I want it to be. So since I just want it to be on my computer, I'm going to select HD because I don't want it to be fuzzy. So I'm going to name it iMovie 2. And I'm going to save it in the movies folder. And then I'm going to click export. Now since this is a bit of a bigger movie than the last one, it's going to take a little bit longer to export. They can take up to an hour to export, so make sure you have lots of time.